making a manual sales entry in metric. The look and options you see in metric can vary depending on the state you're operating metric in, but the functionality of the software is the same. Therefore, the demo you will see in this video may look different from what you will see in your license and may involve a few different steps, but the functionality of making a manual sales entry in metric will be the same. To begin, click on the sales dropdown from the navigation toolbar at the top of your license. Then select receipts from the dropdown. Open the active receipts tab. Then to enter a new sales entry, click on the record receipts button. This example will be a sale to a patient that we just made at our dispensary. So click on today. Leave the time at the present. Click on the magnifying glass to find the package we are selling from. In this case, we are selling Blue Dream Bud, so we find the correct package of Blue Dream here. Then click on Select. Over on the right, choose between Consumer and Patient. You can see nothing changes as we click on Consumer. But when we click on Patient, you will see the patient number area appears, so we enter the number. Then the quantity of product sold. And the unit of measure. And finally, the price of the product sold. If we wanted to add an additional package sold to the same patient, we could click on the plus button next to the word package here. Click the minus sign next to the package to remove it again. Additionally, if you wanted to add another sales receipt, click the lower plus button and sales receipt number two appears and you can enter the information there. Remove sales receipt number two for now. Then, after we check all the information we have entered and are ready to record our sales receipt, click on Record Receipts. If you think all the information is correct and won't need to work with the receipt anymore, then we recommend that you finalize the receipt. This saves the receipt in a different format so that it takes up less space, which means you experience faster run times. Just select the receipt you want to finalize and click on the Finalize button. Then click on the green Finalize Sales Receipts button in the Action pop-up. The receipt is moved to the Inactive tab. If we ever needed to edit that receipt, we could easily do so by going to the Inactive tab, clicking on the receipt, and then clicking on the Unfinalize button. And once more in the pop-up, and the package is sent back to the Active tab. Where we can find it, and then work with it.